Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for Friday, May 5th, 2023. A massive amount of new arrivals this week to show you guys, uh, and a lot of good pre-orders to tell you guys about. I am actually going to the Austin Record Convention, the largest convention in the United States, so shortly after I film this video, I'll be catching a plane. Because of that, I didn't actually have time to prep to show you guys the gold member records this week. Hopefully I can get them on the website this week, but it's possible we might not put them on the website this week and I have to do a double batch the following week. Uh, but it's been crazy. We're catching up with record store day. That's finally done. We're caught up. Everything in the building is shipped out long, you know, not only from record store day, but from the week of record store day. Definitely the most amount of orders we've ever had in a week. So they're on their way and, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> it was it was grueling. Leading up to record store day is a grueling amount of work. The day itself and then the week after, it's just been crazy. Let me tell you guys about the pre-orders that are coming out this, uh, that I'm telling you about this week. The first two, there's two killer OJC titles. You know, the OJC All Analog Cut by Kevin Gray. And unlike the old OJCs, which were like budget type of records, that's not the case with the modern OJCs. They're all analog. They're cut from master tapes. They're done by Kevin Gray. Heavy tip on jackets. And then the price to go with it. I think they're like 38 bucks now. They're doing Bill Evans, Waltz for Debbie. That is a huge title because there is no analog version of that record in print and hasn't been for quite some time. To find a nice analog copy of that record, you got to go back a ways. You either got to buy the $900 Bill Evans Riverside box set from Analog Productions or you have to go back in time quite a ways. So we're gonna get an all analog single disc 33 of Waltz for Debbie on June 30th. That's an awesome title. Another one, Yosef Latiz, Eastern Sound. Eastern Sound, they uh, did a uh, one step of it that I don't know what it goes for now, but it was like a $400 record that was done by Bernie Grunman. I kind of prefer the sound of Kevin Gray's work with jazz titles these days as opposed to Bernie's stuff. That's just my overall impressions of the way things have been coming out lately, but those are two killer, often not repeated audiophile titles coming out. I mean, there's really, like I say, there's not an easy way or a cheap way, I should say, to go and get those records all analog. There is a triple disc deluxe edition of Little Feet's Dixie Chicken and also Little Feet's Sail and Shoes. The last uh, Little Feet reissue was an all analog Bernie Grunman remaster. Uh, the live album. Maybe this is the case with this. I don't know why they wouldn't, but uh, I'm not saying it is, but it's possible. Also, they're doing a triple disc of Alice Cooper, School's Out. Uh, let's see. The Little Feet come out June 23rd. The Alice Cooper comes out June 9th. Uh, Bill Evans, June 30th. Yosef Latif, September 29th. So a little ways. They're doing a Rammstein reissue, a deluxe anniversary. It's like anniversary and deluxe edition. Everything's an anniversary and deluxe edition. Rammstein is uh, Sen Schutt. It's the one with Duhas. It's the title that, it's the album that made big in America. So it's got their big American hit, Duhas. That's July 14th. Madonna's Finally Enough Love, 50 number ones. This is a rainbow LP. I think it's a four or five disc LP box set. That comes out June 23rd. Maybe four discs, five discs, six discs. There's some amount of discs in there that you'd have to go on the website to find. Wham, the singles. They're doing a seven inch singles box set. Echoes from the Edge of Heaven. It's a seven inch box set, pretty massive box set. That's coming out July 7th. All right. Let me show you guys what's coming out this week. And I'm going to start doing a little somewhat of an unboxing because this is so cool I decided to keep one for myself. And I'm going to show you guys what's what it is on camera. So this is a Japanese import of Dark Side of the Moon, right, obviously. But this is an SACD Japanese import. Import. It has the CD4, you know, the Quadraphonic OB on it. Although I think this just uses the Analog Productions uh, mastering for the SACD, but this comes with all kinds of cool stuff in a small package. 
So unlike the 50th anniversary, this is the 50th anniversary edition. Unlike the 50th anniversary uh, LP, holy cow what you get. <laughs> this might not even be a full unboxing. There's like 40 things included in this. So really cool book. Really nice, look at that, photographs. Really nice. So you're getting photographs, the back side. This is all the extras you're getting. Replica tickets from Japan. I don't even know what this is, some Japanese type of uh, stuff. Look at that, miniature replica stickers. Actually they are, these look like they are stickers. So you get these little replica stickers, more stickers. This is the SACD book. Looks like Japanese poster. This is cool. I, I like this better than the 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary uh, Japanese replica poster. Yeah, I think what you're getting here is cooler than the 50th box. It takes up an enormous amount of space. Posters, more Japanese stuff, more Japanese literature. I need my Google Translate. Oh, this is cool. It's actually, oh, it's even a flip back. This is a replica of an EP, but it actually is a, it's a flip back as well. Oh, and there's another replica of the EP of uh, Plumbing to the Sky and Arnold Lane. I don't know, maybe this is just, what is this? The sleeve that would have came on the seven inch. Then you've got the actual album. They call these replica CD LPs. It comes with some sort of, that's a postcard. It actually says postcard. I guess in Japan, postcards are, uh, yeah, that's not an American sized postcard, let's put it that way. And then you've got the actual CD, not the Japanese, man, they just, this is why everybody loves Japanese records. Look at their attention to detail. It's in a replica brown sleeve that the original came in and it's in a Japanese, it's in a uh, Japanese anti-static so it doesn't scratch up your disc. This is very cool. Okay, so I've got that. That's new. Then I got a restock of the, this is the equivalent for Toto 4. And Santana 3. These actually, this has actually got a quadraphonic mix on it. And this is 5.1. Okay. New box set by Rush Signals. This is the 40th anniversary Rush box set. This is LP, CD, Blu-ray, and four 7-inch singles. So... Continuing with the Rush box sets. There we go. Put that off to the side. Okay, haven't seen this in years, two years, three years, four years. This is a repress from Mobile Fidelity of Santana's self-titled album, their debut. This is the 45 RPM of Santana. Also, put that back together later. Kind of Blue, Miles Davis. This is the Mobile Fidelity kind of blue. I like it. It's reasonably priced. It sounds good. It uses an alternate master tape as opposed to the original. It is DSD that we now know. But uh, I, it's got a different sound, but I've always enjoyed this. Uh, as a whole, they did a good job with the Miles Davis catalog. One thing I want to show you guys with and I want to praise him for, and this is something I've been calling for and kind of championed, during the whole Mobile Fidelity debacle. But if you look, they now have a Mobile Fidelity version of the sparse code directly printed onto the jacket. 15 IPS, Dolby A, analog master, DSD 256 to the analog console to the lathe. So we know now on all the newer represses, they're printing it directly on the jacket. Here's hoping that uh, other audio file labels follow suit. Finally from Sam Records, Donald Bird, Bobby Jasper, Paris, 58. This 
two second story. Came from France, got stuck in customs. Customs held it for three weeks. Customs denied it. It went back to France. From France, it came back to me within 24 hours, and I got it. Thank you, FedEx. Or the U.S. Customs. I have no idea. I don't know who, uh, who was giving me issues there. New Tone Poet. All kinds of goodies this week. Gil Evans Orchestra. Looking forward to this. Any non-Blue Note Tone Poet typically is always a banger. And I'm guessing this is no exception. All Analog Cut by Kevin Gray. And, to go with it, a Freddie Hubbard. Blue Spirit. Blue Spirits. Blue Note Tone Poet. So two new Tone Poets this week. We've got something that you don't see very often, and that's Typo Negative on vinyl. Typo Negative, this is dead again. 2LP, this is on black vinyl. Nuclear Blast reissue. I think this is a new album by Kit Moore. Yeah. Let's try to take some of these out of here. That feels good. Jesse Ware. Actually, it's hard to see, but it's actually got a plastic slip cover over it. This is Pierre Bourne. Good movie. We've got Joy Olin de Kuhn featuring the sweet Featuring the hit single Sweet Symphony featuring Chris Stapleton. So this is two different versions. Oh, check this out. There's an indie exclusive here that includes a signed insert. Awesome. I love when they do signed stuff that's not a CD. I don't mind this. I mean, it's the CD is better than nothing, but come on. Who buys CDs anymore? It's 2023. Get with the times, man. It's all about vinyl. Everyone's buying vinyl. CDs are so 1990s. Love the label. I order everything from them, and I probably own everything that they ever came out with. This is Analog Africa. This is Cameroon Garage Funk. So just listen, like, like you're thinking to yourself, Cameroon Garage Funk. I bet you Cameroon Garage Funk is pretty good. And generally, everything that this label puts out is really good. Uh, and most of their stuff includes a uh, digital download as well. Look at this cover. Like, I can't help. I love, I love world music, especially on the jazz, funk, on R&B side. You know, typically that's the stuff that some of these labels put out. It's just fantastic. This is Alanana, the Orchestra National Muratarin, Nin, 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 Nin. More in 10, I have no clue. We're gonna not even continue that. But look at this cover, like, like I look at that, and I'm like, man, what, what's going on here? You got the, in here, you got the four ladies on the back with the guy holding the guitar. Yeah, that looks, that looks cool. We're gonna give that a go. Rare as hell, pressed on Hellfire Red Vinyl. This is uh, Sunday's copy of Trip Through Hell. And judging by the hype sticker, it goes for a couple thousand dollars. Sundays has been on a tear lately. Ever since they changed hands, they're having Kevin Gray cut a lot of stuff from the master tape. Not everything, but a good chunk of stuff. Cigarettes After Sex. Twice, for some reason. Reissue of Love and Rockets, self-titled. I don't know about this one, but I think Kevin Gray has done most of the mastering on the Love and Rockets catalog on all these reissues. And I've heard they've been quite good. Look at this. Oh, it just looks great. Nigeria 70. Lagos Jump. Original heavyweight Afrobeat High Life and Afro Funk on Strut. I've got some of the other Strut titles that they've done, and they're all really good. Studio One. Space Age Dub Special. This is on uh, Soul Jazz Records Presents. Oh, the National. So we've got two uh, National versions here. We've got a purple and a red vinyl, I believe. This has been pretty hot. It's got 
It's got a track featuring Taylor Swift, Phoebe Bridgers, Sufjan Stevens. So we've got it on purple and red vinyl. I think the red might be the indie exclusive. Here's another one. I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to buy it. It's Analog Africa. It is the Peru Celavitaco Sonic Expedition into the Peruvian Amazon, 1972 to 1986. These guys just look like, they look hip. They're either hip or, I don't want to say what I'm thinking because I don't want to, I don't want the hate mail. But in the comments below, I want you guys to look at this photograph and tell me if you were going to give those guys there a job profession, what would you assume that their profession is? Leave it in the comments below. What's your guys' thoughts? We'll see if they, they match up mine. Oh my God, another Analog Africa. Pop Makuza. Dance Beat of Cameroon, 1976 to 1984. Here is a Modern Harmonic. Oh, this is Sunday's. Modern Harmonic is their sub-label. Sub-label, the uh, Yellow Balloon. Had an original that come in not too long ago. Another Analog Africa title. Saturn, Saturno 2000, 1962 to 1983. Let's see. This looks like a uh, like a Mexican Mexico themed comp. Let's see. First, we kind of history of the Sun San Enduro movement. Yeah. Pack cover is really cool too. I'll give a listen to some of these. They look cool. Reissue of Trains, Drops of Jupiter. This is uh, numbered to 2000 by Music on Vinyl. This is number 285. It looks like there's like a uh, texture cover on this as well. It is on solid red and black vinyl. Sun Ra and his Solar Myth Orchestra. This is on Actuel, part of the uh, BYG Records reissue series. They're doing a lot of these. Uh, actual Charlie's doing a lot of these uh, actual reissues. Olivia Newton John, just the two of us, the Duets Collection, Volume One. Artemis, the real time, excuse me, in real time. So this is on Blue Note. This could be good. I'm going to give this a listen to, too. I've always criticized companies for uh, modern jazz artists for not putting out uh, their title on vinyl. They're, well, you know, most modern jazz, it seems like it comes out on CD as a whole, not everything. But it seems like it comes out more often than not as a, a CD or download. But they're starting to do it more. But that's not, that's not, I'm not buying more. I gotta train my brain to start buying some of these. OBX3, Outer Banks, season three. Netflix series. Gotta give myself more uh, time to try out some of the newer jazz stuff. Cause some of the stuff that I've heard, I've loved. Luke Bryan, number ones, volume one. I guess they're leaving that open ended for when he gets another, uh... oh, nope. Volume two. I guess he's got a lot of number ones. I thought maybe they're like, yeah, he's young. He's got a lot of time left. We'll just keep putting him out every time he racks up an album full of number ones. A good person. Original motion picture soundtrack. I'm going to assume it's country. I don't really follow country, so I can see somebody having two albums full of number ones, and I wouldn't know about it. Gord Dowie. Scotland, who'll do folk? Ellie Goulding, the new album, 
sleeve wave made. So this is on Black Five. I feel like we've already gotten this. This is a restock, but maybe we, I know we got the indie exclusive that was autographed a while back. Maybe we haven't got the black yet. This is a Spencer Cullum, limited edition silver vinyl. Ooh, this is uh, one of the ECM, uh, new ECM titles. Jacob Bro and Joe Lovano. Joe Lovano. Yeah, speaking of, he had the, uh, the recent Tone Poet of his that came out. You know, it was an album that I heard maybe once or twice in the past on a streaming service or something of that nature. But when I got the new Tone Poet, gave it a try, man, I played it like... 10 times. It's a great record. Another uh, another ECM title. Part of that same series. Uh, let's see. Nana Vasconellos. ECM, not something I've really got too much of in my collection, to be honest. A lot of their stuff isn't really my thing, but, you know, I know a lot of people are raving about this new series. Let's see. Falling in Reverse. Coming Home. Music on vinyl, this is Boingo. This is uh, Oingo Boingo's Boingo. They only did a thousand of these on smoky colored vinyl. This is a very difficult album to get an original off. This is 964. Love Oingo Boingo, love Danny Elfman. Don't have an original of that in my collection. 13 floor elevators, the best of. crazy to think of the 13 floor elevators as a greatest hits album <laughs> the greatest hits of a boutique independently released psychedelic band okay got a restock of some japanese pressings this one's new highway 61 bob dylan this is press that sony japan probably Equal to, if not one of the, it's equal to the top three pressing plants in the country right now. I can tell you that. The stuff coming out of Sony Japan, just like the 80s. Perfectly flat, clean, click-free, pop-free. It's been fantastic. This is uh, Eddie Higgins. This is on Venus. Actually, I haven't heard this one, but I heard my Valentine. I think it's my Valentine. I got another one here. My Funny Valentine. Heard this a while back. This is actually a good record. This is uh, the Hyper Magnum Sound Direct Mix. H Hyper Magnum. I wonder if the Japanese know that they named their mixing process after a condom. Hmm. Probably not. Barney Wyland's Barney. This is a restock. Again, I'm loving the stuff that Sony Japan's doing. Look at that. Not only do they recreate the original tip on jacket uh, or flip back, this is a flip back. They recreate the original flip back. They put it in a dedicated 12 inch sleeve so you don't get seam splits. They do the Obi. They just do a killer job. I wish more stuff was coming out of that Sony Japan plant and I wish it was easier to get here. Boss Gags, mastering and cutting at Sony Music Studios in Tokyo. Pressing at Sony Music Solutions, Shizakua, Shiza, Shizakoa, Silk Degrees, and then I've got the Bill Evans album, which I don't believe this is, actually this is a Sony Music title as well. And this was the debut album, the first record that they put out of that new plant, and that is this Billy Joel's 52nd Street. I think this is a DSD. Sounds good, man. I listened to this when it came out. I was blown away how good that record sounded. All right. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3, awesome mix. These are really good. Of course, it's still got uh, Red Bones, Come and Get Your Love. Creep, acoustic version. Good, good, uh, good comp. All these Guardians of the Galaxies have been actually really good comps. We've got Mac Dre, a Mac Dre classic. First time on colored vinyl, 2LP set at 45 RPM. It is All Boo Boo. That's the name of the album. All Boo Boo. It's a Mac, Mac Dre classic. 
It's quite the uh, hype sticker. <laughs> Looks like it's right out of the 70s. The best of the yard birds. Let's see, we've got Taj Mahal, savory. New album by Chicano Batman. Oh, actually, excuse me. This is the debut album originally released in 2010. I wonder if that was ever done. I remember before they kind of made it big, you would see, because they were, you know, from the West Coast. I think they're out of LA. You would see like original Chicano Batman records float into the store. But at the time, they were like two, three, four, five. They were going for insane money, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. The Stone Roses, Sally Cinnamon. So I'm wondering if that debut was ever even originally made. I've never seen an original. Indie exclusive. This is the red vinyl version. The Middle Antic Sounds by the Numero Group. Kind of a lowrider reboot. The lowrider uh, series that they yanked that artwork from. Kelly Clarkson's new album, The Meaning of Life. Carol King. Simple Things. This is uh, Music on Vinyl, limited edition of 1,500 copies on translucent red colored vinyl. It's number 431. This is a good looking record here. I'm not familiar with this. I'm going to give this a listen to too. This is Sunny Stitt. Uh, what is on this? When Sunny Blows Blue. This is from P Vine, but look at they did a killer job on this. You have the Obi, Herbie Hancock on the piano, Ron Carter. Howard Collins, Grady Tate on drums. Oh, this is probably a freaking killer album. That might actually, out of this pile, this might even be the first one I'd give a listen to. Let's see, we got Front 242. And the Weaker Thens, Reconstruction Site, Limited Anniversary Edition Colored Vinyl. This is Apple and Black Half and Half is the color vinyl. Neil Gammon, Four Play String Quartet, Signs of Life. This is the exclusive silver vinyl variant. New album from Ed Sheeran. This is, uh, what is this? Subtract. Get it in some track. He's really milking these uh, these symbols. With the multiply, divide, subtract. I'm guessing there was an ad. Steven Stills, live at Berkeley, 1971. Previously unreleased 1971 live album featuring duets with David Crosby. Does love the one you're with. Looks like it's a good. Looks like a good set list. King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. Let's see, what do we got here from the Lizard Wizard? Featuring demos recorded between 2011 and 2020. Pressed on purple, Galaxy Color Vinyl, limited to 1,000 copies. There we go. That is your weekly King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. We didn't get any uh, weekly Neil Young, but we got Stephen Stills and David Crosby. That's kind of close. Overkill. Horoscope. Half speed mastered and pressed on blue marble vinyl. Then we've got some more overkill. The Years of Decay. Came out in the late 80s. Very difficult album to find. Already showed that. Oh, check this out. An album that <laughs> never thought would get reissued. And I'm like, do I order this? Is, is anybody going to buy this? I love Blondie. I love Debbie Hair. I got a photograph with her. I met her after a book signing. She was getting in her car. She rolled down the window. I got a little selfie. It was a little awkward, but it was cool. She signed a record for me. Love Debbie Harry, but I'm thinking to myself when I saw this, does anybody want this? Does anybody want a $47 version of uh, Coco? Now, granted, they only did 6,000 of them. They're numbered. It has a lenticular sleeve. It's clear vinyl. has an art print. And I guess it has a disc, too, that has some remixes and extended versions on it, but... I don't know. The yeah, lenticular is cool. That's cool. If you're an Uber fan, you're going to buy it, right? If you got to have everything. 
Tarzan. Disney soundtrack. This is Currents, The Death We Seek. We are almost done. George Winston, Night. Neck Deep, The Peace and the Panic. This is on neon green vinyl. There's a New Dawn. Jackpot Records. Limited edition on orange metallic vinyl. Includes a download card. Drain, Living Proof. Augustus Pablo, Thriller. Out of print for 40 years. Done by Org Music. Duran Jones, Wait Till I Get Over. This is the limited edition Blue Jay vinyl variant. Hanging out there in the back in front of his trailer. Hmm. Maybe it's not his trailer. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Wu-Tang Clang, Legendary Weapons. This is a indie exclusive. Silver vinyl variant. The indie exclusives are limited to stores that are essentially record store day stores. Ah, uh, David Ruffin. Died too early. Would have loved to have seen him in concert. I probably could have, you know, when I was younger, but didn't make it that long. A lot of those old Motown acts never did. This is uh, on Elemental. They've been doing a lot of stuff, I think, for record store day. And from what I've heard, they've been quite good. Look at the quote on there. I heard in Ruffin's voice a strength my own voice lacked. Marvin Gaye. The Motown and 60s R&B girl group catalog stuff has been severely neglected by today. It's not only the audience, but they don't get pressed. Atmosphere. There's so many great Motown records that need to be in print and should be. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to go into a record store and get like every Four Tops record and Supreme's record. It's ridiculous. History of the Grateful Dead. 50th anniversary remaster of Bear's Choice. Master by, let me see, Osley Bear Stanley. Oh, excuse me, curated. Master by David Glasser. The Lion King. Original motion picture soundtrack. I guess I should have showed this a little sooner because this is one of the big ones for the week. That is a De La Soul. And guess what? It's not allocated like the last two. Everybody gets a De La Soul. But on a side note, I've got more De La Souls uh, three feet high and rising coming to the store. I think I'll have them by the end of the week. An introduction to Sid Barrett. 18 tracks, including songs from Pink Floyd. Executive producer, David Gilmore. Very cool. Released by Sony Music. All right, guys, that is it for this week's uh, massive new record showing. I'm curious, too. Are any of you guys going to the Austin Record Fair? If you're there, I'm going to be there with my buddy Johnny D, who I went to Den Bosch with in, uh, in the Netherlands. We're going to be setting up. This time, I've got two tables worth of just new arrival stuff. So... If you were to come into my store and look in the new arrival bins, you would find a hodgepodge of records. And that is essentially what I'm bringing to Austin. It is going to be 30 boxes of hodgepodge new arrivals, like exactly what you'd find walking into my store. All right, guys, theingroup.com. Until next time.